RIP to y'all. Very sad. my lovelies hey y'all i hope you are feeling fantastic this week flourishing vanquishing your enemies i'm wishing you well if not doing well keeping up strength keep the fight alive y'all you know how it is out here it's rough but i'm very excited for the movie this week that being said i do want to do a little do 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 a little psa before we start the movie so i'm sure that most if not all of you are aware that there are some goings on happening in the film and tv industry right now y'all there are tens of thousands of writers and actors who are on strike right now against the major film studios and television producers the AMPTP I'm not gonna go too much into the minutia of how or why this happened because there are so many different sources there are so many channels who are doing in-depth reviews and informing the public about what's going on with this and I highly encourage you to get some know-how and <laughs> look into that because it's just something we should all be aware of it's a worker struggle not just the struggle of the workers of one industry so normally on this channel I really don't talk that much about the horrible things that are happening in the world uh, outside of how they pertain to the films that we're watching because I started this channel during the pandemic to be my happy place this is a joy filled center and that's what we come to do even if we cry even if we cuss at the end of the day the credits roll and we are happy to be watching a film <laughs> and that's really what this is about but um this is something that affects the way that the channel is gonna run so i am gonna talk about how i'm gonna go forward just a little bit the short and the long is that actors and writers are on strike and sag aftra has asked social media influencers to abstain basically from posting about any productions that are deemed struck work. To be clear, no one has called for a consumer boycott. So no one is asking us to stop watching the films and TV that we love. The artists who produce these things, their work deserves to be seen and appreciated. And so we're going to continue to do that on our own time. But we as people who talk to you through our cameras <laughs> have been asked not to do promotion for any struck productions so there is a lot of gray area here y'all as there is with anything that involves tens of thousands of people's opinions okay there are guidelines on SAG-AFTRA but the guidelines even still leave a little bit of gray area so all you can really do and all I've really been able to do is do the best research that I can listen to people who are part of these unions and make sure that I am being transparent with y'all and with myself about what is appropriate. So I have decided that we are going to focus solely on independent films on this channel until the strike is lifted. I don't know if I qualify as a social media influencer. I have a relatively small platform but regardless I am one person speaking to 80,000 people and I do want to just be true to my feelings about the situation which are that aside from the fact that I support any worker that's just trying to live <laughs> in the face of corporate greed um, I feel a special and specific need to support these particular workers actors the writers the directors and the crew who create the films that we come here to watch every week that give us joy that give us solace that help us make sense of the cracked out world around us y'all <laughs> people who pour themselves into this artistry and allow us to have respite deserve to make a living wage for the art that they create period point blank bottom line there's no really obfuscating <laughs> where you stand on that like do you support these people or not the answer for me is absolutely yes they need to get their money so they can live nobody's asking for billions here okay people just want to have health care and eat <sighs> I mean what can you really say except for uh, uh, power to the motherfucking people I stand with the workers <laughs> everybody just has to do what they feel is like the right thing to do power and progress for any group of workers can be power and progress for every group of workers it's not just these people and what these people are able to accomplish against these entities is important and signals what other industries might be able to accomplish um, for themselves as employees so in my show of solidarity I am moving forward 
solely with independent films. We are not new to independent films on this channel y'all so it's not really going to be that much of a departure for us but a lot of the films that I had scheduled to do in the next few weeks are going to have to be pushed until a lot of these issues are resolved. So that's what we're going to do y'all. I also want to be clear that this is not me virtue signaling or saying what anybody else needs to be doing with their work because as I said there is still a lot of gray area. There's still a lot of misinformation floating around and I think the main question that is being posed here is where do you stand in support of these workers and how you move should be reflective of that answer. I don't know the stance as far as projects that have been produced long before the strike that were produced by struck companies but obviously are not current works. Really it's unclear what the stance is on that. So I've emailed SAG after my questions asking for clarification. After I get those answers I will move forward in that vein. Until that time we're doing indie horror channel or just indies in general if y'all want to give suggestions and that opens me up to say uh give suggestions y'all I only have so many films that really fit the narrative here they are the major five for a reason 99% of the movies that you watch in your life these companies have put a pinky in them okay so it's a billion dollar industry for a reason I just am always grateful and thankful for the way that you all move in our little community the way that you speak to each other and speak about yourselves is something to be proud of because the world is dark and dirty okay <laughs> I just want to continue in that vein y'all so I really would love to get your suggestions uh we still have midsummer coming up so <laughs> also international films I've done a few international films on the channel but I don't do that many not because I don't love international film and tv because actually 90% of the stuff I watch is not in English because I've seen everything produced by the West but it's because the subtitles are harder to include when I'm editing so that's why I don't do that many but it's not because I don't love them if you guys have international films that you want to watch that you've been waiting to see that are not produced or distributed by the major five um, or companies in the AMPTP then please suggest them and you don't have to do that research you suggest the movies I will find out whether or not they're appropriate yeah I just like I want the best for our burning planet okay <laughs> like if we could just take one little step toward better that's my intention and I hope that other people feel the same okay <laughs> I think that's the end of my spiel all that being said y'all this week's movie is prom night y'all this movie has been on the list for a long long time probably since we first watched Halloween it is a Jamie Lee Curtis classic this movie came out in 1980 it is a true indie neither of the companies who produced this movie even still exist so RIP to them but they did leave us this wonderful film I'm hoping it's gonna be wonderful y'all said it's good so I'm excited for it I'm giving you a little 80s puff sleeve prom moment you know oh also I do want to say if you have any information as far as strike guidelines and what would be helpful or appropriate I welcome you to share that here you know the more the merrier as far as voices are concerned not always but I think here it's true <laughs> also if you're looking for sources I'll link some under this video I love y'all I love film I love television storytelling is obviously very near and dear to me I just really want to proceed intentionally and transparently and um, without judgment of what other people are doing as well because you know it's confusing people are trying to eat I mean outside of <laughs> If you're doing something you know you shouldn't be doing, you know you're doing something you shouldn't be doing, okay? If you're taking money in exchange for your soul, then you know you're doing something you shouldn't be doing, okay? <laughs> but then again, that's your business. And you're the one who has to look at yourself in the mirror. What can we say, y'all? That's not about us. That's about other people out here who are willfully causing harm and willfully undermining the struggle of other people and saying that they don't care. I just think that's nasty. Like, bitch, what are you gonna do when it's you? Uh, if you don't care now, then what are you gonna do when it's you and nobody cares about your ass flailing in the wind? We are for the people here, okay? We are puff sleeve for the people, okay? <laughs> wow, I had one sip of this little drink and I'm like feeling her already. <laughs> anyway, y'all, let's watch the movie. I'm excited. <laughs> This place is scary in the past. <laughs> the killer is coming. And is this an abandoned school? A Dunkin' Donuts? What is this place? Wendy, you're it. I'll kill you all. 
the individual style on each of these children is so distinct and they ate that i'm not gonna lie like all their fits are so cute but they do not look like they would be friends with each other the killer is coming the killer is gonna get you girl i gotta say i don't love it <laughs> Why are you talking shit about Nick to these twinsies? <laughs> Like she's supposed to be jump rope and singing one, two, Freddy's coming for you. I think she wandered onto the wrong set in her little cotton Kill. lace. Killer's gotcha. Oh. There. Killer's gonna get you, Kelly. <laughs> I find it dark. <laughs> terrorizing her. Ooh, it's giving Carrie for babies. Why are y'all doing this? This is why her twinsie told her not to go in there. send her out this window. Ugh. Are y'all gonna take responsibility for that? Why are you crying now? We've gotta get someone quick. If we tell anyone they'll say it's our fault. It, it is a little killer. <laughs> Listen to me. We'll go home now and never ever tell anyone. Oh I know what you did last summer. <laughs> Jude swear I swear Jude was quick to jump in the pack. I swear. I swear. Nick. I'll never tell. Let's go. I'll never tell. Wow, that's sick. No. <gasps> so you made sure she was dead, dead? Did y'all push that window out or did it slip? It's beyond disgusting. Oh, okay. Don't show me the dead child anymore. That's enough. Who's standing over her? Probably the victim of a sexual attack. What? He must have resisted. What? Why is that your first conclusion? You know who's responsible. Why would that? Wh how was that indicated at all? Is that her mama? How dare y'all bring her out to the scene like this? Speaking of kill, kill, if I was that mama, I would find out who did it and take life. Ugh. Oh, time jump. Are they gonna get slain on prom night because of what they did? Oh, uh, not a she had it coming. <laughs> wow, they really did take a flower in its prime. This hair. <laughs> so Jamie Lee is blunt bang and he's the twinsy. Siblings? Mm -hmm. I have to know Jude's still available. That may be hard, huh? Alex, she's cute. Let me give you somebody to do your equations with. Oh, great. <laughs> equations at the prom. <laughs> Alexander Hamilton Senior High School. <laughs> Alexander Hamilton. Alex, no man is wacko. So he um, is the dad. Kelly says he spies on the girls in the locker room, too. Uh, Sykes is not a seeking Tom. Oh, my lord. Definitely giving creep, lovely bones esque, disgusting. <laughs> uh, if people started to get killed, I would suspect him. <laughs> Hello, Jude. 
Uh oh. Can you come out to play tonight? Uh. I'll see you at the prom. An obscene call. Not very obscene at that. He knew your name so, though. Would yeah, you take it as a prank? Cause not me. But I guess, you know, this is the when a stranger calls scream Valentine of it all. <laughs> you just don't see that your childhood shenanigans have caused a killer to have a grudge against you. Hey, beautiful needle lift. Come on, I won't bite. Who are you? Timor Crane. But, uh, they, they uh, call me slick. They do not. <laughs> do what? Some girls, if they're good looking, I, I give them a ride. I am not getting in the van creep of. I'm going straight to Hamilton High. Oh wow, she's gonna do it. That little curled bang is stupid. <laughs> but I guess it's the 80s. <laughs> oh. Yes, Kelly. Oh, pigtail. It's been a long time. I should have left you. Like, sorry. It's my turn. Wow, I would be so scared. I would be peeing. I'd be bashing my head against that chevron wallpaper. But it's a slasher, so they gotta be unfazed. <laughs> Drew, is that you? Kelly, <sighs> the back door was open. <sighs> I'm glad to see you too. Mm -mm. <laughs> Drew, this horrible voice on the telephone. A heavy breather? What I always say. He turned you on, didn't he? Um, can't you see she's scared? <laughs> At least she has I'm the wits serious. to be flustered. <laughs> Quicker than Jude. <laughs> him a little eh, eh. <laughs> oh he didn't even get his creepy little call my tantrum it's just one day supposed to be taking the problem tonight i thought she two broke up can't tell one day anything she doesn't want to hear <laughs> going with a hammond girl with principal's daughter kim you should have your women problems <laughs> that's a child sir <laughs> like your women problems please he's a teenager and a killer <laughs> I'm sorry, but there's no way to over harass a sex offender. Burn him! <laughs> like, I don't feel bad at all. What's the problem? Leonard Murch. Last night, Murch escaped from the state hospital. Oh, Lincoln. Lord. He took a nurse, and her car was in. Very Michael Myers, film one. <laughs> you think he'd head back here? I don't know. Oh, come on. Maybe that guess will help. Lieutenant, <laughs> you're asking me to comment on a catatonic schizophrenic who was disfigured and institutionalized. Leonard Murch is an unknown quantity. Lord. Have mercy! <laughs> hey, I'll be right over. He's back. Oh, goodness. This came out two years after Halloween, too. Maybe they took a little inspo. <laughs> Don't pick up, side pony. Ugh. Nick? Wendy. Ringleader. <laughs> her like that because you got a little money you can do whatever the hell you want Disgusting. that's why the killer gonna kill you because <laughs> you're rude I got it. I missed you on the bus today I didn't ride it I gotta ride it going to the prom with slip no I know why Sam won't go out with me he likes girls better than kissing an ashtray oh she said you stank you guys ever get tired of each other I'm always around I'm Please take those eyebrows elsewhere. <laughs> Clearly, these girlies are not interested. Ew. This 40 year old man smoking in the high school hallways is beyond. <laughs> Harassment aside, why are you here? I told her it was over. Kim. It makes me mad that she smiled, but it makes me madder that as her girl, you let the man know. You support the buffoonery. She's out here getting played in the hallways, and you letting him know he can keep on ping-ponging with her heart. Sad. <laughs> oh, why are we rushing into the building? Still abandoned, but not demolished, even after a child has died. Another death? 
Any sign of a car? Meat no. wagon? That's a dead person. Keeping the townspeople in the dark, always a mistake number one. Although, telling them could just rile them up, and then you got an evil dies tonight situation on your hands. <laughs> so, Leonard the sex offender was framed or convicted for the murder of this girl, uh, Jamie Lee's sister. And the teens just allowed it to go down like that. I mean, I guess they were younger than teens at the time, but... You gonna give him a little five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> okay, girl. Throw a little hip. Throw a little hair. <laughs> give him a pirouette. We love to see it. <laughs> Bravo. I mean, yeah. Oh, an enemy. Practicing for tonight? As a matter of fact, I was. Side pony enemy. Fighting over some low down murderer named Nick. <laughs> Kim is always so perfect. Nick uh, likes me that way. Really? Ew, girls. <laughs> I mean, Nick is king of the prom, and you just happen to be queen of the prom. But that's as far as it goes, Hammond. You seem a little anxious, Wendy. Pathetic. Just wait and see. Absurd and obscene. Like, Jamie Lee, you need to drop him. He killed your sister. It's interesting how much of this movie seems to be the inspiration or reference point for Valentine. <laughs> Burn book in the making. What else? Mm. How about a muffin? No, cook. Oh! 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 It's an improvement. You like it so much, why don't you take it? Oh! Stab him! Like, literally kill him, yeah. Where are the teachers? Why is this boy on Alex now? Like, who the fuck? What the hell? Where are the lunch ladies, girls? Y'all need to be molly a bitch with a ladle, cause why? What? Is that a shiv? Like, what just happened? It's getting prison yard. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I know everybody that goes to this school is a full grown adult, but damn. At least pretend to supervise the children. That's Yuck. it, Corona. This time you're out. Start. Alex? He was just trying to help me. Like, I was literally being violently sexually assaulted. Why is Alex being taken? It just didn't work out, Wendy. Why can't we just leave it that? Because I don't want to leave it that. I do. Well, you blew it. <laughs> Wendy, girl, get a grip. <laughs> it's embarrassing. You again. The one on the right should get the electric chair. Alex, go back to class, baby. Look, I was just fooling around with this girl. Kim. Your son, you felt it. You knew what? But I play favorites, so I take it easy on Alex because he's my son. Well, you're right. You have been nothing but a disgrace to the school. Facts! <laughs> I don't even care about the nepotism because fuck you. I'll see you around. Bitch, if I see you next, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> like, how dare you assault my sister? I'm going to have the nurse take a look at you. Do, baby. I'm about to order you a burger to eat in my office. <laughs> Fries and a shake too, you did good. I mean, he's still living and you shouldn't have let him walk away, but <laughs> I guess you need to graduate. What's he trying to prove? Mm. Revenge. Mm. Psychotic, disfigured, violent. Three he for has three. To be hiding somewhere. I've got to get that bastard before he butchers someone else. And do. Mm. Beach day by the cliffs. Beautiful out here. You don't seem very excited. Some ways it's such an awful day. Mm. It's Robin's day. My mom's all upset. Dad is too. He's just too strong to show it. Would have been our first prom. Mm. But Queen the prom must maintain whatever. Her dignity, her beauty, and her grace. I love you. I love you, I love you too. Wow. That's surprising. And the nerve of him to look her in the face and say that. I've always been really sorry about it. What? Listen, Kim. Are you gonna confess to killing our sister? I, uh... 
I gotta go. Oh. I cannot believe you would date someone whose sibling you murdered. <laughs> Like that's crazy as hell. And I would call it an accident, except for it was malicious in intent and then she accidentally died and then you covered it up. So, villain. You ready to order? Uh, well, I'm a little short of cash. You can help me. Gross. Well, uh, a couple burgers, uh, large fries, and uh, what kind of beer you got? Why are you driving around a broke sex offender? Yes, that's it. Nice. I'll buy you one for Christmas, all right? The way she talks about other girls, no. repugnant. How do I know you're serious about this? What do you mean serious? Man, I hate that school. I'm having this whole fucking family. Okay, okay. So I don't want anyone hurt. <laughs> she said one body is no. enough. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Zero dignity. Negative pride. <laughs> Looking cute as hell, Laurie. Jamie Lee. What's her name? Kim. <laughs> Don't. This is just for you. Don't. I'm sorry, but she needs to get snatched up. Like, ah! Why would you flash your naked ass at this man? Don't do it. I might have to find somebody who will. So, let him. Right. Look at jealous side pony in the back. <laughs> Plotting your death. I'll let Drew do it. Let him. Let him. Yeah, him. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's happening? Is somebody shooting? Oh. Look at look at Cam is going brushing the death. <laughs> oh, the way she's holding that brush. Who did it? Did you see? Carly, you saw me right next to you, babe. Who was here? Y'all are both gonna go out half naked? <laughs> Y'all know how I feel about fighting with your bits out. <laughs> Difficult. Like you instinctively will protect your naked body and it makes you less of a attacker. <laughs> what? Oh, a shard is missing. The missing shard. Y'all are both giving face though. Was it him? Why would he clean the school in wellies? I think that in and of itself is weird. Alex! Nick and Kim on stage. The fact that her boyfriend and her brother are so hard to tell apart. <laughs> I won't comment further. I'll just say what it is. Your weird. <laughs> Nick? Nick? <gasps> you don't know what to do. You look the fool. <laughs> Act the fool, girl. You hear me? Yes. Can you hear me, Kim? Mm-hmm. POV was eerie. <laughs> What's the theme? Tin can? Why is that the props for the prom? Now wait for your spotlights and your music cue. It'll be beautiful. I can't believe that they like already know and are practicing <laughs> what it's gonna be like to be crowned. That is so funny. <laughs> back on. She says, steal what you want from my locker. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta live. Uh, hilarious that they don't suspect it might be about the murder they committed. <laughs> but I guess it's been long enough and they got away with it. That blue BW is still in town. We'll find it. You make sure to double check the whole area around the high school. Okay. Triple check. Quadruple check. <laughs> Wow, she is literally planning a carry situation. This bitch is disgusting. <laughs> no wonder she had the idea to leave the dead girl down there and yeah. flee the scene. You remember that dark red lipstick that you like? Did you take it? No. Why does everything have to happen at the last minute? Mom, you look terrific. Why is she going to the prom? I guess she's going as the, the principal's date, the dad's date. Is that the breather lurking? The Michael Myers of prom? Are you having a snack? Oh. Is that her boyfriend? Well, 
amazing. Hmm. You like? You look almost like a woman. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, you've done this before, I see. Stop it. No. <laughs> They are cute siblings. I feel bad for them. Did you get the doll for me, sir? It's my lady. Oh, thank you, sir. Precious. <laughs> and he was willing to whoop ass for her. That's the sign of a true sibling. <laughs> like, would you kill for me or not? <laughs> hmm. Chica. How dare you even look at that portrait, killer? <laughs> oh, wow. Not this bitch eating him up. <laughs> She's terrible, but the look is... What's that? My date. Who's in the back? Who are these mans in the back? You'd be crazy to go with him. And these boys? Where's your sister? Don't worry about it. He's a known sex offender. His friends are probably just as bad. Look, the guys needed a ride, okay? Ugh. Like this. Don't drink! Yeah. Behind the wheel? Yeah, we're gonna party. Look, this whole thing was your idea, right? Is so beyond horrific. <laughs> oh, chained and locked. While the students are inside during a school event? Is that not a fire hazard? I'm sorry we missed your grand entrance, Kim, but I've been very upset. Probably just nervous. Mm. Principal by day, disco by night. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie, the music is definitely a vibe. Y'all toss some Donna Summer in there, we really be cooking. Tina Marie! <laughs> uh, Thanks for the Evil has entered. <laughs> do you believe her? Not sure what we can do. Oh! We're jealous makers. Oh, wow. Child, we are literally on the disco floor. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it's 1980s. Girl, America, America has a problem. <laughs> they really look windy dead in her eyes and said, you won't break my soul. Oh yes, girl. Hit him with the hip like you did earlier. <laughs> oh wow, a cartwheel, a little flippy flip. There she goes. <laughs> Sideline kids looking like they're ready to come up in here and show you something. Wendy is evil. I bet she could tear up a dance floor. Mm. They said open to all, rejoin the floor. Admit, even when their enemies are eating. Be <laughs> Girl, don't do it if you don't want to. It's really that simple. I don't like you racking your brain over it and feeling like you have to. Look at that face. It is unfortunate that you went along with the killing because you grew up to be so pretty. Uh oh. Here on the bench in the gym. Fair, that's what you want. I'm just so worried because I feel that death is imminent. We can't do everything about you. She doesn't want to. No. Okay, that's fair. What are these? Fairy princess? Kill him first! <laughs> if you don't. What? I don't play you well. Well bye! You are literally the worst. Bye! I hope the killer takes you first. That's what you deserve. I mean, how dare you? I don't care about that funky ass flower, no way, bitch. Drew, you bastard! Yeah. <laughs> I should have killed him. <laughs> Sorry. No, please don't kill her first. She didn't even want to cover up the accident. Oh my goodness. At least let her zip her dress, please. She cannot die with the titties loose. Zip it, zip it, zip it. Wretched. What even kind of knife is that? Oh, it's a glass shard. Yuck. I'm sorry. The fact
fact that the least heinous offender had to die first, I take offense, just a bit. She at least had the decency to cry when the girl died. Look at this slut, on to the next. Like, why are you over there talking to her? We've had every man looking for some sign of him with that car all day. This cop. Damn right I'm upset. Like, a girl is dead under your nose. As per usual, the authorities are. <laughs> oh damn, the van is a rockin'. Jude and Slick going at it. This will be a night to remember. Oh. What are you about to do? You're going somewhere? Oh. Is this black glove menace gonna take him too? Dress is pretty. Why don't we do it on the bluff? On the bluff? <laughs> she is so exuberant. I love that for her because that is a knocking. Go for it now because you won't have tomorrow. Mm. Is he gonna watch first? Why do they always watch first? I mean, I guess this one is a sex offender, so he's doing his deviant deeds. Uh, what was that? Why don't we go back in the van? Why? Cause it's good looking out. Follow me. <laughs> That's right. Just relax. I'll remember this night for the rest of my life. Even if it's only five more minutes. <laughs> so will I. <laughs> oh God. Wait, why is the ski mask sparkly? The nerve! Oh, oh wow! Are y'all gonna drive right off that damn cliff? Yikes, run that bitch over! Oh, and you don't have your glasses on? You can't even see. Oh, he got in the van. I mean... The killer is agile. <laughs> Oh, he did drive off that damn cliff. R.I.P. to y'all. Slick and Jude. Very sad. Like, not what you want to see at all. Oh. Why are you drinking at the children's prom? And where are your glasses, comb over? You gotta show them who's boss. Look, I thought I told you I didn't want to hurt. Stop telling me what to do. Like, girl, you brought a rabid Rottweiler. You can't be mad when it starts biting bitches. Mm. What are you doing? It's your turn, ringleader. <laughs> Why'd you make a cat noise? You sound like Gollum. <laughs> Help! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Why are you killing all the women first? And slick, just by coincidence. <laughs> Nick was there too. <sighs> Girl. Just run into a more and more abandoned part of the building? You should be allowing the music to carry you toward the disco floor so you can beg for assistance. But instead... <laughs> He's squatting in this lab like a dead body to be. It's really too bad. <laughs> Here comes the glitter defender. He's just pretending he don't know you in there. I really feel that he is aware. Mistake number one is not watching your back. Ooh. <laughs> Dead giveaway. Wow, he really had moved on. <laughs> and then you screamed, come and get me. <laughs> he said, bet. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. He could really look in the window and see you. <laughs> At least lay in a way that you can see if he's, if he's coming. <laughs> like on your belly. You better pick up that ice scraper and act like you want to live. <laughs> Hilarious that he tried for the door instead of just immediately doing that. I 
bougie. At least she had the sense to pick up that ice scraper. <laughs> Slash broom. <laughs> Bare hand against a padlock, bitch get a grip. <laughs> like please. And you deserve the death, so it's not even like you can curse the heavens. <laughs> you should have went easy on the mascara. Now you out here raccooned in your final hours. <laughs> she ain't looking for no weapons or nothing. <laughs> what is that? What is that dripping? Is that paint? Is she bleeding? The killer has a very acute sense of hearing. <laughs> because how did you hear that drip drippity drip over the disco music? Oh! Oh! Open throated and everything. Oh! There it is. Oh! The killer is a woman. The eye says the killer is a woman, so it's not that sex offender. Is it the mama? Y'all, is it the mom? Because that would make sense because she's not the prime and maybe she found out who really killed her daughter and she went mad crazy and just started slashing the students. Where? When? Well, actually, the State Patrol got him up near Alderson. It's not that sexy. miles from here. Because I left town after he killed that girl. I can start enjoying the prom. Ew! What a useless bitch! There are so many bodies on the premises already! You wanna go out here and hit the ones and twos? Like, bitch, fuck yourself! Yeah, Wait, the dad is missing too? Are they tag team killers? Is it like a ghost face situation and they're both the killer? Oh. Wow, they don't want to believe him because he's giving lovely bones, but actually he's speaking truth. Time to get ready for the procession. Even if he's drunk, why did he just leave it if there's a killer on the loose and not go into more detail? Like, did you find a body? What? It's time. What about Wendy? I'll just have sweet candle over myself. Ew! Any questions? Now, buddy, I'll take care of you. It's very disgusting because it doesn't seem like they're planning a pig's blood situation. Like, are they going to try to nap her? Wow, you're not even gonna get crowned in front of everybody, like true coronation style. Oh, here's the glitter defender. Axe wielding, hip swishing, ready to kill. <laughs> Why is it? What? Uh, what does this accomplish? I don't get it. So you're gonna go out on stage instead of him, and then what? Grope her in front of the crowd? Like, what is your plan, gap to bandit? I hate him. And I'm mad because I usually love a gap in the teeth. I find it very cute. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get killed in his stand. Now that is how karma should work. <laughs> that is the universe's intricate and gorgeous design. <laughs> love that for me. <laughs> Wait, should I add Alex to the suspect list? <laughs> Could he be one of the killers? Woo! Decapitated. Y'all don't see the head? <laughs> it's like a minute. <laughs> Sometimes it'll be like that though, you can't be sure. Don't panic, there's a head on the runway, teacher. <laughs> like, granted, he is the worst. And so we're not mourning him, but surely it can't be one of us next. <laughs> oh wow, he's okay at least. I mean, he is one of the ones, so it's not like he should get away necessarily. How hard did you get hit that you needed her to do everything and carry you out? Leave him, girl. <laughs> Why can't you even stand? You took one backhand, bitch. Oh. <laughs> the killer said, not so fast, bitches. <laughs> like, no, girl, stay out of it. Stay out of this. This is not your business. Yes, get your target. <laughs> Sorry, no, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. <laughs> Just leave her out of it. And it seems 
like the killer is trying to leave her out of it. So I, I think it is one of her family members. Do not ax the glitter defender. I'm worried now. She is correct. Like normally if a killer was going after somebody I love, I'd be like, I have to kill you first. But don't. You don't have all the facts, girl. You don't have all the facts. <laughs> the information that you have is lacking. Don't kill anyone. Leave it. He got to fight on his own. If he really wants to live, that chia head will fight. No! Did you kill? Did you kill? Did you kill him? Is that your mama? I feel like it's the mama. I feel like it's the mama. It is. It is. It is. Why are you looking like that if it's not? And she knows it. Granted, you did kill Slick, and that was that was not what you should have done. I'm so curious where you bought that glittered ski mask. Don't just shoot. This person is unarmed. You psycho. You say, I saw it all. It's Alex. It's not right, but it's okay. It's very fucked, but like, he felt like he needed to do that. He grew up and waited till he was strong enough and then did what he felt like he had to do. What's very fucked up is that you didn't at least clue your sister in so that she wouldn't be responsible for your death. Cause now she's gonna have to carry that with her. is good. Oh, that's the end of the movie. That's it. Very bare bones, but it slapped. <laughs> it's like there was nothing to it, but it was perfect. <laughs> huh. This ballad speaks to me. <laughs> wow, y'all. Indie film for the win, bitch. <laughs> That was so fun to watch. It was short. Like there are so many unanswered questions and yeah, I'm satisfied. <laughs> wow. Mmm. Mmm. For me, Jamie Lee Curtis, I just love the films. I really do. Oh, I mean, I see why she got Halloween and then it was just like booked it, booked it, booked it because why not? She really anchors a slasher well. I mean, the face. The emotion, the vulnerability, she really has it. I thoroughly enjoyed that y'all. I really have to say, talk to me about prom night. I know that there are two remakes to this movie and um, I don't think we're gonna be able to watch either of them right now, but if y'all wanna do some remakes, let me know, cause I'm down. I am sweating but happy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, y'all. Stay strong out there and talk to me about the film and I will see you soon.